Hello, I'm Helen Howe from Helen Howe Designs at Craft You Print. Today I'm going to show you how to put together my potted um, violets decoupage card. Um, now I've already done the envelope because I'm sure everybody knows how to put envelopes together. Right, the um, graphics that have uh, gone into making this card uh, the violets come from the old design shop, the frames come from Zaza Scrap and Tubes store, um, the background is grannyenchanted.com and the tags are from Vicky Sumner Designs at Crafts You Print. Uh, now there are 11 choices of tags with this card and today I'm choosing the Happy Birthday Special Friend. So let's move these things out of the way. You can see I've cut everything out ready. It saves time and we'll start with just putting the card um, sections together. I have a 6x6 six six pearlized card here and my design is a 6 by six so I like to use glue stick to put these things onto the cards for one simple reason and that is you have a little bit of leeway you can move your card around a little bit until you get it right as opposed to if you put on double-sided tape or something like that you haven't you can't move it once you put it on you put it on so I just like to make sure it's nice and sticky and I like to go round the edges once more because we want them to stick. You've got to be careful though, I can see there's some missing there. You've got to be careful with gloss paper that you don't get that stuck to anything. Right, just move that out my way for a second. Get my card in, make sure it's the right way we don't want to glue it upside down or to the wrong opening and we'll get that placed onto the card if my head gets in the way I'm very sorry we've got to move that a bit more and a little bit more out just a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit that way. And we're there. Very good. And I use my roller on the opposite side to make sure the card has stuck. Beautiful. There we are. The card's on. So now we're going to do exactly the same with the um, insert. I've got two bits of paper here, but we don't want to get it stuck. So remember to fold your glue your bit out of the way. And here is your insert. And you can see the right way because there's the violets just peeking through the white. So we do exactly the same with this. I always like to start with a bit in the middle and then just go round and round and round and round. That's it. Can be a bit messy and you might have to just clean off a bit because you don't want that to spread. Okay, get that out of the way, get that in and line it up to where you want it to go so that it's even and it's straight just move it down a fraction and out and there we go my insert is in exactly the same again on the opposite side so that i don't mark the insert in any way We're done. So that's our main pieces on our card. So now, I'll just do the glue up. We're going to start, I'll get rid of that glue paper and into the bin, with putting our decoupage pieces together. There's piece 
one and piece two and piece three, four, five and six. Now I'm going to use these bigger ones to start with. And you need to make sure that your first layer is nice and solid and steady because that's going to support all the other layers. It seems like a lot to put on, but you don't want it to sag in the middle. There we go. Give them a good press down. And we'll just take the bits off. These little squares get everywhere. You think you pick them all up and put them in the bin and then you come back the next day and you find some more on the carpet or suddenly they've moved into another room. <laughs> but these little foam squares, we need them when we're card making. I've done that, yes. Haven't done that one. Haven't done that one. There, they're all ready. Now then, make sure that you get this lined up before you stick it down because gloss paper does tend to tear if you um, if you place it wrong. I'm using this as my guide for my my bottom piece. And hopefully everything else should. That's just out a little bit. Don't stick before I'm ready for you. <laughs> See what I mean? You've got to go very careful if you're going to unstick it. That's it. Perfect. So that one's all nicely lined up. So now we go for number two. And I'm still sticking with the big ones for the moment. Two, three, and one either side should. I better put one up there as well, I think. That's it. I wanted to show you how easy it is to put a pyramid decoupage card together. The only thing you, you have to do is you have to take your time cutting out the um, elements because they do have to match. So you can't hurry that. And just take your time to make sure you match them before you stick them down. Other than that, there's nothing hard about doing a pyramid card. They're all done. So now then, let's have a look at what we're matching up. We're matching up. We're going to match these up at the top. So I think that would be it. And that. And that. No, just move it slightly. You just have to be so careful lifting this if you if you um, try to do it too much in a hurry, you could end up taking the layer off the card. It is important to make sure you have matched up absolutely to get the finished effect that you want there want to go up higher see sticky sticky come off oh, 
got it off without damaging anything amazing Yes, done. Perfect match, as you can see. On to number three. I think we'll put just two side pieces on for this. If you do purchase this card, I hope that you really enjoy making it. The other newest um, decoupage card I have out at the moment is called a bouquet for you. And um, that features a lovely vintage girl. Okay. We're matching up here. No. Just got to take your time until you get it right. That's right. Which means I can get all this side piece right. I don't want to stick it and then unstick it. This top piece is like that. And no, what am I going to do? Patience is a golden virtue. Still haven't got that quite matched. That's it. That's it. And that's it. Oh, 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 you say that's it and then it moves. Well, not doing it, am I? Supposed to be showing you how easy this is. Do not fret. We will get there. Voila, there we go. What you've got to do is just find a piece that you can line everything up to. I've used this piece at the bottom this time and that worked for me. So far you can see we're coming out and getting that 3D effect, which is really nice. So we'll carry on with this on this side. We will only want three on this. Gets a little trickier to match up as we get smaller. But just be patient because the overall effect is worth the effort. So, this is the top one, is. There, no, 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 that's got to go like up a bit, 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 that matches, that matches, that matches, done, there we go, now we'll move into the slightly smaller, I might stay on the double for this one because that will work. I hope you can see the effect. All right, nearly there, guys. Now 
Now then, we got to work out what we've got to match here. And I'd say that's it. Perfect. Perfect match. Very easy, that one. One last one now. And I think we're going to stay with all of these big um, square foam pads. It keeps them all. And this is the very last tiny layer. Mm. Yeah, that's it. So that's our layers done. And the overall effect is really lovely. A 3D vase of flowers. So now we just have to attach our two labels. Again, I usually put three onto these sorts of labels to keep them steady. tricky as the actual decoupage you can choose um, happy birthday and there's a selection of female choices or you can choose mother's day and there's also a selection of choices like um, mum or mom or grandmother for that Birthday, you've got sister and niece, and I'm using special friend, and that's going to pop under there. Let's do that again. Lift that up very carefully. To get that under, I'm going to have to lift that. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm going to slide that as best I can under there. Oh, 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 oh. stuck to me now and out beautiful and there's our card all finished nice insert and a beautiful envelope happy crafting and I hope I'll see you here again soon